Page 1. After the film company credits roll, the film opens in a parking lot of a strip mall in a sprawling southwestern American city. Illuminated by parking lot lights, C. Ers, an adult dressed in a button-down shirt and long jacket, walks quickly towards a lone luxury car, attempting to escape the chill in the late September air. C. approaches the luxury car, unlocking it with a chirp, opens the driver's side door, slides in, closes the door, takes a breath. C. notices a small blinking dash cam suctioned on the windshield and another suctioned on the passenger door window, both focused on them. Just as C. is about to utter something, a two-inch wide yellow speed ratchet strap slides around their throat and instantly tightens as a huge humanoid creature pops up from the rear seat. The creature is massive, six foot eight and 400 pounds, with a head that looks like a cross between a Rottweiler and a grizzly bear. The creature wears gray Harrington bone coveralls, black full-fingered touchscreen technology gloves, and a mounted recording body camera. C stumbles on syllables while struggling for air as another strap goes around their waist and pins their arms. The creature stuffs gauze into C's mouth and then pulls C's head into the headrest. For a second, the creature pauses, looking into the rear view to see the terror and tears pouring out of C's eyes. With its right hand, the creature lines up large stainless steel clippers with the top of C's right ear. C screams in muffled horror. Then, slowly scissoring, the helix of C's ears separates from the rest of their cartilaginous tissue. Blood flows. Flesh falls. In a series of quick cuts, or edits, rather. <laughs> the creature exits out of the back left door. The front passenger door opens and the suction-mounted cams get ripped out. The yellow straps loosen. C gets their hands and arms free, spits out the gauze, and as they're about to scream, we cut to black. We show the film title and then start the front credits, including the names of the executive producers that will help us make this into a feature film. We are only now on page two of 89 suspenseful and powerful pages. If you want to help the filmmakers and potentially help save millions of future animals, or just see this made into a kick-ass feature film, please consider donating today to the GoFundMe. We are currently trying to raise $20,000 to cover pre-production costs. If you're interested in producing, or investing, or being involved, please feel free to reach out. Thank you.